What's good, everybody? It's Mr. Hollow Park 313. Uh, just kind of a touch on the uh, current contract situation with Matthew Stafford and the Lions. Um, now, listen, before I get into this, this video, I'm a fan of Stafford. Definitely. He's been the best quarterback that we have had in I don't know how long. He has all type of franchise records, uh, record for eight of comebacks, all the all those good things, you know, and, and that's good to, have, to know, and that's good to have. Now, I want them to obviously give him a nice contract, but at the same time, and this is what I'm hoping, you know, because obviously I have no impact on the decision makers whatsoever, you know, in terms of the deal he's going to get. But you know simply making the playoffs should no longer be a goal of ours we should be far removed from that you know it's coming off of 0-16 season back in 2008 to simply bounce back um, a few years later it's remarkable coming from that we're the only team in, in NFL history to, to do that so no matter what, what happens from here on out, that's something that we just have to wear. Being the only team in, in sports history to lose every last single game of the season. It's an ugly part of the history, but what's done is done. Nothing can be done about that. But I mentioned in one of my videos before that I'm glad the Lions have really kind of, um, you know, change the culture in terms of the, the current management with Rod Wood and um, the president and Bob Quinn and GM. Making the playoffs is, is no longer acceptable. Just just doing that and, and everybody happy with that. And the reason I say that, Stafford need to get some playoff wins under his belt. I'm a big fan of his. Don't get me wrong. I've supported him. Roll for him no matter what. Even in games, he ain't play well. And I will continue to do that. But at the same time, it's time for him to step up as well, as well as the team. Now, we're not the old, you know, same old Lions from way back when. We're pretty much making them, simply making the playoffs was damn near the fucking Super Bowl. No, nah, man. The bar has been risen. That's why I'm glad, you know, I'm going back to the culture change. You know, Rod Wood, I don't know whose decision that was. I'm... I'm I'm assuming it was his playoff banners. Take that shit down. I don't think we... I think we're the only team in the NFL who's doing that shit. Rob took that shit down. Rob took that shit down. At least I think he did. Well, somebody did, because they're not up there no more. And I thought that's that's nothing that to, to, to pretty much celebrate. Oh, we made the playoffs. Take those banners down. That's bullshit. Nobody else is doing that shit. This is a whole, this, this is a whole different direction, this culture, and I'm loving the way it's going. No more honoring playoff teams from back in 1991. Who gives a fuck? Bring it back players who make the playoffs back in 90. Well, no, we ain't honoring no, no playoff teams. That's dumb. Who else you see doing that shit in the NFL? Honoring playoff teams for well over 20 years ago. That's what losing franchises do. And we want to change our perception and change our image that we are not going to be forced to be reckoned with. Now, one way you're doing that is obviously first step, take off playoff banners. Nobody celebrates going to the playoffs. Stop honoring pay, uh, past playoff teams. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. Because that's not a goal. Your goal is the Super Bowl. I mean, I, that should be the obvious, you know, that should be obvious for any team for that matter. So we should be no exception. So, like, to go back to my point, and I'm going to wrap this video up. Is um, we got to start getting some playoff wins under his belt. Now I think he definitely needs to step it up this year, for real, for real. If you're gonna get whatever contract they're gonna give you, hey, earn it. That's, that's all I'm saying. Because simply making the playoffs is no longer a goal. It was way back when. I'm not gonna understand them celebrating for the first time when they did make the playoffs after the 0 8 0 and 16 season. I get all that. Because when you your your team and your franchise go through some shit like that, man, I, I can't imagine how, how gut wrenching that is. How embarrassing, humiliating, demoralizing that is. 
and to make it back to the playoffs just a few years later, that's, that's, yes, of course, that's a goal. Even though you didn't win one, you got there. So that's showing that you're going in the right direction. But now if you've been to the playoffs two of the last three, I mean, two times in the past three years, expectations has to be risen now. Going to the playoffs is simply not, it's, it's not good enough. We got to do something. We got to make some noise. That's the way it is. Period. I understand that every team has injuries, and I get all that. But at the same time, we got to play through it. We had the division right there in that grass last season, and we let it slip away. That, shit, that simply cannot happen no more. You know, so my whole thing is whatever Stafford gets, yes, he deserves it. But at the same time, he really needs to earn earn it the rest of the way, period. And that's all I'm saying, you know. So, uh, you know, as, as always, I'd like to give a big shout-out to my DVE crew, man. Detroit versus everybody. Um, if anybody that's watching this, uh, you can go ahead and subscribe on this channel if you're new to this channel. Uh, I have a lot of people who uh, – have a few people. I don't have a lot of subscribers, obviously. But uh, I do have a, a few individuals that – that come in and chime in on all my videos, leave comments, and I really appreciate that. So even if I have, even if it's just those same three people who come back, I really appreciate it. Whoever, whoever does, whoever does that, you know, I support any type of uh, viewership uh, I get, no matter what. So I always try to be, respond to all comments, you know, just to take time to, you know, you took time to comment on my videos or chime in or watch my videos. So at least I can do is take time out of my day to respond back if you got any questions or you got any opinions i like to go back and forth and what do y'all feel about the situation or any kind of sports topic I, i'm pretty much well-rounded when it comes to sports but i'm you know obviously a diehard lions and wolverines and pretty much all detroit things but uh like i said once again man thanks for people who, who, who be checking me out man just been riding for me i know i don't have a lot of subscribers but at the same time you know, I really appreciate the ones who do come back and, sh and show support. But anyway, like I was saying, man, you can check out my DVE crew, Detroit vs. Everybody. Um, I don't, can't think of all the names off top, but if you run across any of their pages, man, please like and subscribe to their pages if you haven't done so already. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, once again, uh, Mr. Holland Park 313, and I get at y'all later.